Hello, it's Michael from Planet Naturopath. In this video, we're going to go through the Cyrex Array 4 test. So if you've given up gluten and you're still getting digestion or neurological symptoms, it's possible that you're cross-reacting to foods that are similar to wheat or gluten. And this is what the Cyrex Array 4 test does. It measures all of these markers that are known foods to cross-react. And yes, unfortunately, coffee is on that list. But also dairy, uh, soy, eggs, other gluten-free grains that people can also react to. And in this situation, um, we've been able to identify that. And a lot of times when people uh, give up gluten, they start eating a lot of rice or a lot of another gluten-free grain. And then people can start to react to that. So this may not be a long-term issue, but this person was eating a lot of rice and they're reacting to that. They're also eating a lot of quinoa. So in the short term, we're going to cut out those from the diet and introduce them later at lower amounts and then see how they react. We also know from doing the Cyrex Array 2 that there was a little bit of leaky gut and uh, you know other gut issues going on. So this one is a, an example of just a few, a few foods that they may have to avoid or, or minimize. Like these ones, you may have to minimize. Now this one here is a different um, test. As you can see, there's so many different things out of range, virtually everything. And this always brings up a red flag with me. It's normally an indication that someone's lost immune tolerance. So they may not really be reacting to everything, but because they have a leaky gut, because they have dysbiosis, because they have a lot of stress going on, they start to react to everything. And if we heal the gut, they may be able to start to add these foods back in later. But at the moment, in the short term, we want to go on a dairy-free, grain-free diet to avoid all of these triggers, like an autoimmune paleo type of diet. So the Array 4 is to, it's for people who are celiac or non-celiac gluten sensitive, who potentially are still getting symptoms and they want to find out what foods could be those triggers of course, it could be other things like gut dysbiosis, infections, and doing a stool test could be a good idea to rule those types of things out. But in this case, we've done all that, and now we need to sort of heal the gut, cut out these foods temporarily, and reassess the symptoms. And usually when people identify these markers and they're able to cut them out, they get a big improvement in symptoms. Okay, I hope that helps.